family. Today I want to share with you step by step how to prepare the pork meat to prepare your delicious and amazing Salvadorian pupusas. But first things first, my apron is on, my hands are clean and I am ready to show you my ingredients. your delicious pupusas made out of chicharron. These are the ingredients. I have cumin, I have beef bouillon, have the coriander and anato spices, one tomato, one bell pepper, garlic, onion, and of course, pork shoulder. This is everything we need to prepare this delicious and amazing recipe. So let's get started. Of course, I am going to start with the pork meat. Look at this. This part is very important. You need to get your pork shoulder with this fat on it. And this is going to give such an amazing flavor when it's nice and crispy. And when you make your filling for your chicharron popusas, look at this. Cut the pieces in small pieces so that they all cook at the same time and they cook in the same liquid, in their same juices. This is the part that takes such a long time, but believe me, once you make it, you are really going to fall in love with this chicharron filling for your amazing homemade pupusas. Yes, many people make this chicharron, but this is the best, the delicious, and amazing way to make it at home. Once you make it, you are really going to love it. Let me tell you one thing. I really love making the chicharron at home. You have control of the spices. You have control of what you're adding to the pork meat. Of course, you need to mix it every five minutes so that everything gets nice and cooked and you really move the edges of the meat to the center and everything is cooking at the same time. This is going to take about two hours. So just be patient, have the heat to high heat and it's already releasing the juices. Remember, we didn't add any water. We didn't add any oil. We are going to let the meat release the liquid, the juices, the lard, and we are just going to continue mixing. When it's releasing the liquid, the juices, you are going to go ahead and start adding the spices. The spices give this meat an amazing flavor, and I am sure that once you make it, you are going to fall in love with it because your chicharron popusas are going to come delicious, but yet they're not gonna have too much lard. They're not gonna be too oily because you are preparing this meat at home. Once you incorporate everything, continue cooking it in high heat. Remember, add your garlic. And of course, you are going to have all the ingredients in the description box. On your right hand side, on your lower side, you are going to have that little flag where you push on it and it's going to show you all the ingredients I use and the amount. Slowly but gradually, you're going to start noticing a little bit of oil on the bottom. You're gonna notice that they're starting getting nice and caramelized, nice, golden brown and that's exactly how you want it look at this now this is done i'm going to turn off my stove and i'm going to transfer it to this container i want to show you from close up how 
crispy, how golden brown they are. Remember, don't add any oils or any lard. The meat is going to cook in the same juices and in the same oil. So just make sure that you really get it nice and crispy and golden brown because the more crispy and golden brown they are, those are going to be the amazing flavors for your filling of chicharron. And here I am just cubing the tomato, the onion, the bell pepper. This is really going to give your filling an amazing flavor. My mouth is already watering because the meat really you know invaded my kitchen those flavors just invaded the kitchen and now i am ready to take everything to the food processor i am going to blend completely getting nice and liquidy the veggies so i'm going to go ahead mix it really good until everything is really well broken down okay you're gonna clean the sides of your food processor so there is no large pieces of the veggies when you add your meat. Be patient. Remember, this is going to come out amazing. And now I am just adding the meat a little bit at a time and I am going to blend it really good. And I'm going to show you the texture. It really comes out really delicious and you don't need to add any salt or anything else. This is going to come out amazing. I wanted to show you the step by step so that you don't go and you buy this mixture when you could make it at home and save a little bit of money. Well, let me show you. This mixture comes out nice and thick and creamy and you could barely see the little pieces of the bell pepper and the tomato. The onion really broke down and gave this mixture, this filling, an amazing flavor. The texture is really thick, but yet it's creamy with all those veggies in there. It's really incorporated. My mouth is watering because you could even eat it just like that. The flavor is amazing. Look at the texture. Look at it. Remember, the meat was golden brown and gave this filling an amazing and delicious flavor. And now, of course, I'm going to transfer it to plate. This is where you could just have your pupusas with chicharron or you could bring it up a step, a notch, and add mozzarella cheese or Monterrey cheese. You decide. But this is the best way to make your filling of chicharron at home with lots of love. If you like this video, please leave me a thumbs up, share this video, and be part of my family. I'll see you in a bit. pork meat for your delicious and amazing pupusas de chicharron. This is the part I need to taste, I need to enjoy, and I need to let you know how it came out. Of course, I made myself an amazing pupusa de chicharron. Excuse me. Mmm. Mmm. Amazing. The pork is so crispy and with all those spices, let me tell you, you need to make it at home. You need to enjoy it with your beautiful family. You have the step-by-step -step how to prepare the pork for your delicious and amazing homemade pupusas de chicharron. If you liked and loved my recipe, I invite you to subscribe, leave me a thumbs up, 
Share this video on social media with your friends, with your relatives, so Cooking with Gloria keeps growing. Don't forget to push that notification bell, and if you did, leave it activated. So every time I make an amazing recipe like I did today, yes, you're going to be notified. Before I say I see you soon, I wish you nothing but the best. Peace and love. I love you guys. Thank you for being here. Thank you for being part of Cooking with Gloria. Like, subscribe, and share, and see you on my next amazing recipe. Bye-bye.